In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create stunning gradients like Epta Visual in Adobe After Effects. Creating this type of animation is really easy and you can impress your audience with these three steps. It all starts with the design. Alright now, in order to demonstrate it better, I'm just gonna start with the sphere. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go towards the ellipse tool and I'm gonna double click on it to create a circle. Now, on the first step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to click on fill. Now we'll turn the fill option from a solid color to a radial color. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to click on the radial color and I'm going to set the first color into white. Now on the second step, what I need to do is that I need to fix the color positioning. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to drag these sliders and I'm going to mm, set the gradient like this. Now let's just rename the shape layer 1 into circle. And let's just resize it to 512. So this is good and we need to readjust the gradient again. So this is our gradient circle now. Now on the second step what we need to do is that we need to turn this circle into a sphere. So to do that what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to right click on it in layer styles. I'm just going to select inner glow. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to navigate through the inner glow. I'm just going to increase the size for example to 109. And then I'm just going to set the color to white. Now on the last step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to change the blend mode from screen to color dodge. So this will be the shading for our sphere. Now on the last step, what I need to do is that I need to add the highlights to the circle. So well, to do that, I'm just going to duplicate the circle layer and I'm going to delete the layer styles for it. And now let's just rename it to color overlay. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to change this color. And on the next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to parent it to the main layer so it follows the main movement. Lastly, I will readjust the position of the circle and I will use the track mat tool to parent it to the circle. Now I will click on the eye icon in here to reveal the original layer. As you see, now the color overlay is blended into the circle, but it doesn't really look like a gradient. Well, in order to fix that problem, all you need to do is that you need to select on the mode and change the mode from normal to classic color dodge. Now, as you see, we will have this amazing gradient. You can play with this scale and reposition the gradient however you like, or you can simply duplicate the layer one more time and change its color. Now on the last step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press R for rotation and I'm going to rotate it for one entire rotation. All done. Don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe for more videos like this.